Hey everyone, this is Novel Central coming back at you with another YouTube video and I've gained about 50 subscribers since my last video. My last video that I had about Edwin Joseph has gotten over 2,000 views, so be sure to continue to like that video. Comment your thoughts on what it would be like to have Florida State get an Edwin Joseph. I think it can really be uh, factored into Florida State and it's a talented playmaker if he does decide to do so, but I want to kind of swing over instead of recruiting, talk about a little bit of team news. I know that uh, Jordan Travis was a guy that everybody was kind of expecting to come back, but they weren't entirely sure. They were very excited for the possibility of him coming back. That was a lot of the conversation yesterday when he announced that he was going to be returning for next season. But here's a big obstacle. What happens if Jared Verse, the star defensive end for Florida State, has got seven and a half sacks and has been that focal point of the defense when he's been healthy? What if he comes back? You know, this is a guy that is actually mocked in some of the first round picks. I believe CBS Sports has him projected at 15th to the Falcons. That would be remarkable for him. And a lot of people are talking about if he would be able to come back to Florida State next season. And why would he? You know, if he has that first round draft grade, you know, those average first round picks, about $4 million a year. You're looking at a four year contract plus a fifth year team option. There's just a lot of different factors that go into it. And can Florida State's NIL even come close to that? And I don't think they can. But will he be able to kind of look at his draft stock and say, okay, you know, am I guaranteed first round pick? That's priority number one at that point. Um, and you have to really realize, um, you know, Florida State had released a video earlier about him talking about his love for Coach Norvell and Coach JP. I think that's very important because he talked about all the promises they had made and they have fulfilled every single promise they had given him to be successful. Now, Coach Norvell talked about in his bowl game speech and also beforehand before the bowl game even started in the last week, talking about some of the departures. And you talk about Jamie Robinson and also Jared Burris, who talked before the bowl game, saying that they were going to both compete in the bowl game. I think that's very important to get their draft stock as high as they can. Not really sure where Jamie Robinson stands. I think it's more likely that he goes to the NFL, him and Baby and Lovett. But Jared Verse, I've heard, is about 65-35 in, in terms of him leaving uh, 65%. We'll, we'll definitely see how that stands. But as of right now, I think it would be a little bit uh, reckless to suggest that Jared Verse is going to come back after being a potential first-round pick. I think he's pretty much gone. But, man, I mean, that was a teaser post from the Florida State football uh, Twitter page earlier about talking about JP and, and also Coach Norvell. I think that may be something to come and something to kind of monitor as we go through. I mean, you're looking at the defensive ends that are coming back for next season. You got a guy like Derek McClendon, who I think is pretty talented as a reserve. He had three and a half sacks uh, this past season and also three and a half sacks before. Um, you got a guy like Patrick Payton, who I think is going to be a budding superstar. I think he's got a couple more years in him that he could be a consistent product. He had four sacks this past season. And then you look at other guys, I mean, you're trying to find those other resources. Can Dennis Briggs, after an injury from last season to Louisville, can he be able to step up in more of an elevated role after kind of taking this season to kind of rehab himself and getting back into shape? Who knows? You know, you got a guy like Tatum Bethune, who I think is a pretty good linebacker as well. He's able to rush the passer. Um, I talked about it before in one of my videos talking about life without Jermaine Johnson and Kira Thomas. Will it be a collective effort from the defensive ends and just the defensive line as a total? And it really has. They had 34 sacks this past season through 12 games. Last season, they had 33 sacks. So it's just kind of a collective effort through Florida State. And Florida State is definitely going to have to get some pass rushers. They're definitely going to have to get some more guys to step up in that rotation. Can a Patrick Payton be a seven or eight sack guy like Jared Verse was this past season with seven and a half sacks? It's just kind of a wait and see kind of thing. But I think Florida State, if they're able to kind of get some of these guys in, I think even a Keldrick Falk could be very, very talented for Florida State going forward there as a true freshman. Uh, it's just a lot to ask for as a true freshman. I mean, if you brought in some some talented uh, transfers, which I know Mike Novell has done in the past, which remain Johnson, Kier Thomas, and now also Jared Burst, I think there is some potential there. But you really have to just see how it's going to go. I think this defense is very, very talented. But like I said, if you're missing a Fabian Lovett and also a Jared Burst on the defensive line, your defense can only do so much until you – basically acquire that talent or get a collective effort to combine those efforts together and being able to kind of get that uh, loss kind of at a down low at that point. So you're kind of factoring in everything that's going on. Offensively, I think they've got most of their starters back, minus Dylan Gibbons, Demetri Emanuel, you know, Jess and turn team. And then you got uh, reserve guys like Ontario Wilson and Keyshawn Helton that just announced for the transfer portal and just going to try to use his last eligibility elsewhere. 
But just looking at factors there on offense, I think you're set. Defensively, you got some question marks, but I think they're very talented in what they do. And if Jared Verse comes back, man, I will be telling elite lies coming this offseason because this is a football team that could be p- capable of 10, 11, maybe even 12 wins um, at that point and contend for an ACC championship. Well, who knows? Maybe even a college football playoff at that point. Don't want to get too ahead of myself because I don't want to turn to a Miami fan that suggests that we are going to be back and winning 12 games. But, you know, I had to throw my Miami shot in there for a little bit. But just thinking that Patrick uh, uh, Patrick Payton can be able to step up if Jared Verse comes back, man, it's it's a it's a scary, scary sight to see because that would be a huge gift for Florida State, and that would be a huge relief on even a guy like Adam Fuller, who's trying to kind of consistently get that back, that that tenacious Florida State defense that you're all seeing. And even though we were a top 15 defense this past season, there have been games where we've been kind of lackadaisical, especially in terms of Fabian Lovett when he was out. You saw the middle of that defense trying to figure out what to do at the defensive tackle position. And it's just a lot of factors that go into it. But I will be super excited if Jared Verse comes. My thought process is he leans to go to the NFL draft, and I think he chooses to do that. But, man, they're keeping it interesting throughout uh, this process. But I really do appreciate everyone checking out the video today. Like the video. Comment your thoughts on if you think Jared Verse is going to is going to stay, leave. What, what are you thinking so far? Be sure to subscribe to the channel. It is completely free. I'm trying to get up into YouTube subscribers. I'm trying to get those consistent YouTube videos out to everyone and trying to get that reliable content out to you. Also, be sure to follow my Instagram account at Norvell Central and also my Twitter account at Central Norvell. And if you have any other questions, feel free to DM me and I will definitely try to answer those as quickly as possible. But I hope each and every one of you have a great rest of the day. And as always, go Noles.